Hi YouTubers, this is Zero Ms, and on the left side you can see some uh, button cells batteries. All of them are silver oxide, and today I'd like to tear down some of them and and explain how they work. They're all made by Warta and the type is V389 and as you can see it's uh, mercury free here you can see some parameters from uh, the data sheet the nominal voltage is 1.55 volts and uh, end voltage or cutoff voltage is 1.2 volt yeah uh, capacity of battery as you can see it's 60 milliamp hours and that's it actually. In this table you can see uh, some batteries and uh, maximum energy per kilogram they can store. Yeah, And our silver oxide battery is somewhere in the middle as you can see. Yeah, It can store uh, 0.47 megajoule uh, per kilogram so it's not so bad and let's have a look inside the battery yeah before destroying them I'm going to check first uh, uh, voltages yeah because I don't want to cut uh, fully charge the battery yeah and I'm going to take uh, to the least charge yeah and I'll show you what's inside of them okay here are two at the bottom which I'm going to tear down today okay so let's get started And here it is, yeah. But before showing you some details, I'm going to explain uh, common principles of batteries. Each battery uh, has an anode, which is a negative terminal. It must have a cathode, which is a positive terminal. Yeah. Uh, in the middle, you can find a separator, and inside separator, there is uh, usually some electrolyte. If you connect uh, the anode with the cathode, electrons start flowing, yeah, electrons are negative and there is a, also a second flow, the second flow of positive ions, yeah, they also flow from the anode to the cathode. And that's it. Very easy, yeah. And these uh, three layers, yeah, are put together in batteries uh, these three ways yeah this is the first one like button cell batteries yeah they use it this way the second one you can find in normal alkaline batteries triple A or double A yeah and the last one you can find in modern batteries yeah in lithium ion batteries yeah and this way you can increase the capacity of batteries okay here is uh, our silver oxide button cell battery and as you can see the anode is zinc the cathode is silver oxide therefore it's called silver oxide and there is a separator in the middle and inside the separator yeah there is an electrolyte uh, it's uh, either sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide and that's it yeah again very easy 
So let's have a look at our battery. Yeah, so you can see three layers. The bottom part is uh, zinc, the upper part is uh, silver oxide, and in the middle you can see or you don't see actually <laughs> separator. So uh, let's uh, tear down another battery, yeah. And I think you might see it better, yeah. Yes, mm, this is a better way. Okay, here it is. You can see silver oxide layer, yeah, used as a cathode, yeah. Here is a separator, it's a very thin layer. with the electrolyte inside. And the last layer used for anode is zinc and this is the zinc layer yeah used for anode. The battery is discharged yeah so you don't see the original compounds but y you can see compounds after yeah, the battery is discharged. And that's it I wanted to say to the silver oxide batteries. During the preparation of this video I've learned lots of things about batteries. Yeah, So I hope that you've also learned something new from me. Yeah, So thank you for watching and see you next time.